Hello and welcome to VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com My name is Gary De La Cruz. I've been a mechanic for 30 years or more. I have a workshop in Cape Town which I am still very active in. Um, I am here today to speak about replacing spark plugs and show you how to do it, very simple. Um, basically the tools that we're going to need for this procedure on this particular car is a uh, telescopic magnet all right, uh, retractable, uh, you know, you can pull it out to as uh, long as you want, uh, about a meter out there. A tin socket, tube socket, a uh, long extension, half inch drive, a 16 tube socket, and a half inch uh, reversible ratchet, and that is a tool for convenience. I'll basically show you how that works later. The spark plugs that we are going to be replacing is on this little car. It is a 1000cc Kia Picanto. These are coils. Each cylinder has one. Okay, this is how modern cars work nowadays. It's held down by a 10 head bolt. Okay, one each. So our mission is to get these coils out of the way. Um, what I do not do, I do not loosen up these plugs. Because all the heat around this engine over the years, these plastic things become brittle and by trying to take them off they sometimes crack and break and then you have to replace these caps. So I basically just leave them on because these cables are long enough for us just to take these coils out and lay them down gently on the side out of the way for us to get those spark plugs out. So how do we do this? We take our size 10 socket with a long extension and our ratchet, we stick that onto that size 10 nut down there and we loosen them up, okay? Loosen them up, one, two, three turns. Once they loose enough, they will just come out by hand. You can take them out by hand and then we'll remove the coils one by one by hand. As I say, we'll take those coils, we'll just gently lay them down the sides over there. We'll take, um, we'll take all the coils out of the way and then we will take our size 16 socket with our extension and our ratchet we loosen up the spark plugs, remember lefty loosey, so to the left to loosen up. Uh, we loosen it up two, three turns and then we'll turn it by hand with our extension until the spark plugs completely loosen the tubes. How do we get those spark plugs out of those tubes? We use that telescopic magnet. It's the easy way to do it. Voila! The spark plug comes out. You basically take it off at the end there and you do that for all the all these plugs until they're all out. Right, now we're going to put in brand new spark plugs. There is a few things I would like you, you guys to just look out for. Look at this spark plug over here. You look at the spark plug's gap, you will see that it's got a nice gap. Okay, it's the recommended gap for the spark plug. Look at this spark plug. This spark plug's gap is completely closed. The earth is basically touching the electrode. So this is not going to make any spark, it's just going to go down to earth which means I can guarantee you this car is going to misfire if you put the spark plug in. How did this happen? This basically happens sometimes during transportation when the spark plug uh, box gets dropped, the Murphy's Law it falls on the cap and then it closes the gap up. Okay, so how do we remedy that? We check all our gaps before we put them back, put them in new spark plugs in. So we'll take a feeler gauge and we make sure, um, look at the spec for the car. In this case it's a 0.8 of a millimeter. So we'll take a 0.8 millimeter um, feeler gauge, make sure it goes in, uh, you know, just about goes in, not too loose, not too tight, okay? That's how we set it. Then we'll take that little tool that I was telling you about. Um, basically, it's a piece of tube, okay? It's a fuel hose, a piece of cut of fuel hose, which I use. Um, we stick the back of the spark plug into the tube until it's pretty tight and then we can manipulate the spark plug. We can put the spark plug down into the spark plug uh, into the spark plug tube there without having to drop the spark plug in there and with the spark plug dropping in there you'll probably close that gap and the car will misfire. Um, we put it down there, make sure that you get the thread nicely, you know, that the thread doesn't cross thread, turn it three, four times in there, you pop the spanner, you, you, you pop that little tool out there and then you put your plug spanner in, okay? 
Put your plug spanner in, turn it tight as far as you can by hand, and then you use the ratchet to do it, the final tightening. A tightening on a spark plug is normally about 25 newton meters. You can use a feeler gauge, um, sorry, you can use a torque wrench to check that. Okay, so we put our spark plugs back, one, two, and three, and then we put back uh, the box that holds the, the, the coils. Uh, did I say spark plugs? It's actually the coils. We put the coils back. Um, very importantly, you've got to put these bolts back, because if you don't put these bolts back, vibration of the engine while you're driving, the coils will lift and it will cause a misfire because it's got to jump pretty much of a, of a wide gap over there. Okay, um, then we'll tighten up those uh, little bolts with our ratchet and voila, congratulations, you have fitted spark plugs to your motor car. You have saved yourself some money, you have gained some knowledge and you'll be able to do it next time with your eyes closed. Taking you back, please visit my website, like and share that this video. My website has got uh, lots of information, okay? There are how-to uh, photo illustrations, how to do a power repair puncture, amongst others. Um, informative posts such as buying a car, what to look out for when you go and buy your car. You don't have to take an expert with you. You read this, you will know what to look out for. I am very intrigued in the future and in electric cars in particular, okay? Um, this is, by the way, this is um, uh, uh, um, Apple's car. <laughs> Apple's electric car. It's a picture of Apple, you know, how they envisage electric car to look. But anyway, I keep up to date with electric cars because I believe that in the near future, 20, 2020, 2025, we will be seeing a load of electric cars on the road. Okay? Um, how to procedures, like here, how to fit for disc pants, uh, you know, fully photo illustrated. It will show you picture for picture what to do. The same with oil changes. Um, then there are also other informative posts such as uh, how an internal combustion engine works, um, how a battery works, um, three car checks to save money. Um, I do reviews and I only do reviews on things and products which I have used myself. Then there are other things such as uh, time, ma time management tips and how brakes work and automotive careers, you know, the difference between mechanics and technicians. Very, very interesting. You will learn such a lot on this website. Okay, so please visit. Okay, they are on each post almost. There's basically um, there is basically a comment section, which I welcome. I welcome comments on my website because at the end of the day, it is really how we learn. You know, and if you ask questions, this is how you are going to get replies from me. So leave a comment. You know, you're most welcome, even if you're critical. I, I, I am not a person to take things personally. I feel that I can really learn from what you guys think about my website. Okay? So, to cut a long story short, um, you know, enjoy the website. Go and visit it, comment, like, share it with your friends, especially because my motto is, in helping others, we prosper. And that is my motto, and I stick to my motto. So, until next time, Safe motoring, happy motoring, save money guys, go to my website, it will show you how to do that, okay, and enjoy the procedures. Until next time, carry out.